Hey, my name is Justin, and I run a company called Lead Brain, which is just white labeled Go High Level. Uh, and I also do real estate investing, so I use Go High Level and also another CRM um, named Resimply to conduct all my real estate investing operations. But I recently discovered a, a quick hack that I can use. There, there's a reason why I didn't switch over from my other CRM, Resimply, all to Go High Level. And it's really because this one feature, which was call flow routing. And essentially what it did is if somebody uh, logged in for the first time, sorry, if somebody called for the first time, like a new lead called, I would have that call forwarded to the call center and a call center agent will answer the phone and qualify the lead for me. That way I'm not taking all the initial calls before they're, they're, an, actually, they're an actual qualified lead. This is important for me because I work a full-time job, so I can't answer the phone 24-7. Um, but if that same lead called back for a second time, then their call will be routed to the appropriate sales agent. I couldn't figure out how to do that with Go High Level before, but I did. Now with the new IVR feature, I was able to kind of hack some things together and make it work. So I'm going to show you what I did. First things first, come into the uh, your team section and you need to add a user. It can be a fake user. Uh, the real important thing you need here is this phone number it needs to be the phone number to your call center. All right. So once you have that, we'll go ahead and go to automation. Um, I created a folder named call center. You come in here and we are going to start from scratch. And we're going to create two workflows. So I'll name it appropriate. Um, IVR call flow. IVRs are, are traditionally used to like, hey, you know, when you call a doctor's office, press one to do this, press two to do this, but we're not going to use the whole voiceover feature and, and collecting um, collecting button presses from the, the client. We're instead just going to use it with conditional statements to do what we want it to do. We're going to hack it together. So let's add a new trigger and let's search for IVR. And then we're going to add our phone number. So it doesn't really matter which one. Obviously, you would add the one that you want it to be applied to. And then here, I will do a conditional statement. Is this a repeat caller? And I'm going to look for a tag. You'll see where this becomes important. If the tag does not include repeat caller, which is a new tag we'll create, then go down this side and then... This is actually a first time caller. This will be for repeat caller. And I'm going to make it very simple. So, you know, you can go in here and customize it however, which way you want. If you wanted to assign it to users and have it call specific users, you can. But I just wanted to show you the proof of concept. Okay. So, what we did here is we created an if else condition that says, hey, if if the contact does not contain a tag named repeat caller, then send them down the first time caller route. If the contact uh, contains a tag called repeat caller, then send them down the repeat caller route. Let's go ahead and configure the action. So if it's a first time caller, I want to connect to call. And I like to name these, connect to call center and select the call center user. And let's choose to record a call because why not? We like recorded calls. And then we're going to end it up with right here. We're going to add the tag repeat caller. Now, why do we do that? Well, if it was their first time calling, they would have gone down to this conditional statement. They would have matched the criteria for first time caller. They would connect to the call center. Ideally, the call center will answer. And I'm going to demo this to you live. And then um, they'd get added a tag called repeat caller so that if they called again, then they would go down this same workflow. And because they do have the tag, then they would go down the repeat caller section. So let's go ahead and configure the repeat caller section. Let's go down to connect to call. Let's connect call to, let's just call it sales agents, which in this case, I'll just make myself. Sure, record the call, click save, and we will keep it simple here. Now, one thing you do want to do is go into settings and allow re-entry here so that it applies to every caller. Awesome, and let's go ahead and publish this. Now, before we test it, I wanna do one thing. Um, sometimes we make outbound calls for the first time, and if we make outbound calls and we get on the phone with somebody and we have a good conversation, we don't want them calling back and then getting routed to our call center. That could sort of 
you know, stymie your, your relationships with that person. So we're going to account for that. So let's create another workflow. Start from scratch. We'll call this one alpha outbound call tagging. So the trigger would be call status, add filter, call direction, outgoing, call status, completed. So we can name this uh, successful outbound. This is arbitrary. You can name it whatever you want. I like to be descriptive just in case I'm ever troubleshooting. Um, and all we're going to do here is if we have a successful outbound call, I'm just going to tag them with repeat caller. Save that. Technically, we don't need to allow re-entry here, but I'll go ahead and turn it on. It won't hurt anything. But there you go. So now if I make an outbound call and it's a cold call and I have a good conversation with somebody, they answer, everything's good. They're going to get the tag repeat caller. So then if they ever called back, they would come here and they would go down the, sorry, they'd come here and they would go down the repeat caller route. Now, again, you can customize this to your own liking. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it simple for you guys. And let's go ahead and test this live. It's never a good idea, but I'm confident that it'll work. I'm going to go ahead and call this number here, which is my go high level number. And let's see, uh, I should not have the repeat caller tag on. So this should go to my call center. Let's see if it works. Interested in selling your home? Hey, Opal, thank you. This is just the owner doing a test call. Oh, hi there. Yeah, thank you. That, that's all I needed. So have a, have a happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you too. Bye. Oh. Whoops, that was rude. I hung up on her, but it worked, right? So now if I call back again, my phone should actually start ringing. So we're going to test that right now because now I should have that tag. So here we go. And there it is. My phone is ringing. Incoming call. So it's working. So that's it. I think that's a pretty powerful way to sort of hack the use of this IVR triggers. Um, it's definitely powerful. I plan on doing some more things here like routing calls based on time of day. Uh, routing calls based on other criteria. So hopefully this was helpful. And if I can be of help any time in the future, make sure you reach out to me. Have a nice day.